Hello guys and welcome to your first class on building your first app for tvOS. Uh, before we get started I just want to show you some things and how this course is going to work. So um, this is the uh, Swift Next Step uh, Git repository where we're going to be putting all the code and all the resource and everything we're going to be using uh, to develop this first game. Um, and um, I will be committing the code every class to the end of every class so you can go ahead and download the, the source code for the beginning of the class or the end of the class before every time you want to start a class if you want to follow along. Uh, if you're not understanding what I'm saying in committing, downloading the code and if you don't know what GitHub is, I have a tutorial, with a free tutorial, some classes here on YouTube well, about source control, GitHub and Bitbuck on Xcode. So you don't need to worry about setting up anything or downloading any software, uh, running any command lines on terminal. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, run directly from Xcode, so it's all explained here. All you have to do is watch the videos, and uh, we'll be you'll be ready to go. And was the the source code from GitHub. So this is how I'm gonna be distributing the code. Um, at the moment, the repository is empty. But um, as soon as we finish this first class, you're going to see it's going to have some code here. And what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to copy this URL because we're going to do our first commit here. Um, of course, it's not going to be much of a code for starters, but um, let's just get started. So we're going to create a new project. And the new project is going to be a tvOS application and it's going to be a game. And let's hit next. The product name, um, you guys can give the name you wanted. Um, I call this game Bob the Jumper. Um, and there's going to be in Swift. And we're going to be using SpriteKit. And let's hit next. Then we're going to use Git repository or Mac. That's how we're going to be able to use GitHub. And then um, I'm going to be saving here on this Udemy folder. And let's hit create. Cool. So that's going to give us the um, base application for iOS and I'm just going to show you what it looks like and I'm going to go over a little bit on how the iOS work because it was pretty hard when I first started. You may already know but uh, may pe some people may have some problem like I did. First you want to have a look into the, um, you're not going to have the control so if you want to make the control appear go in hardware, show Apple TV remote and there it is. Now you have the remote. Um, if you want to, so this application that Epic of Choice, if you tap the, tap the remote, it should make an airplane appear. There you go. It's not very exciting. Um, the airplanes are show in the same place. I didn't really figure out how to make them move. I don't think they do. So this is the demo software that comes with um, 
Apple, you can use the arrow keys to move. So if you hit menu, you go back to the menu and then you can hit arrow keys to move. If you want to use the touch, you have to hit out and then use move your arrow key. Don't press the button, just use out to move. Uh, option, sorry, use option and then move around without press the key. And that's pretty much how you use it. Uh, and uh, of course, the zoom you, you want to use in scale, the screen is really big. So you see here having 33%. And of course, I have it running on optimized rendering for a scale so a window, for a window scale. So it makes it a bit faster. Okay, enough of the simulator. Now we have our code here. Now let's commit it to our new GitHub. So let's configure the remote. And so, uh, sorry, I was a bit too fast. Uh, went to that control and then pop the jumper as our um, project and then configure pop the jumper. And then we want to go to remotes and we want to add a new one and add remote and they call this TV here just give a name that we want to give it tvOS tutorial that's just for us to do and the paste address that we just copy from github there we go now we have a connection now we can commit this code. Um, Xcode already committed the first change, so we can just go ahead and push. It's already selected for us. And if we push, we're going to enter our username and password. So my username is Swift. Next step. Open enter my password, right. Right, so it was pushed successfully. Let's go back to GitHub and have a look. So there we go. We have our project here. I'll be adding a readme file later on so you guys can um, have some description. And if I have to edit in details, I'll be adding here as well and committing together. If I have, if I do something offline, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but I mean, not coding, but uh, adding some readme or some links or something I, I think you guys should know uh, extra details I'll let you guys know so uh, this is all I want to show you guys for this tutorial uh, for the next one we're going to be creating the extra scenes the welcome and the um, game over scene we're not going to be populating the scene we're just going to be leaving it prepare because this Xcode has a little bug for tvOS to create the scene. It makes it a little bit more complicated. So we're going to be going over this to next video. And, uh, and then we, we're going to have everything ready to go. So I'll see you on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe.